स्टैंडर्ड इलेवन केमिस्ट्री यूनिट थ्री क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स एंड पीरियोडिसिटी इन प्रॉपर्टीज पार्ट फाइव अकॉर्डिंग टू केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज एलिमेंट्स आर क्लासिफाइड इन टू थ्री पार्ट्स मेटल्स नॉन मेटल्स एंड मेटालॉइड्स हियर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स द स्टेट ऑफ मेटल्स आर यूजली सॉलिड और नॉन मेटल्स आर यूजली सॉलिड और गैस देर मेल्टिंग पॉइंट एंड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इज हायर वाइल नॉन मेटल्स हैव लो बॉइलिंग पॉइंट एंड मेल्टिंग पॉइंट एक्सेप्ट बोरोन एंड कार्बन मेटल्स आर गुड कंडक्टर्स ऑफ हीट एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वाइल द नॉन मेटल्स आर पुअर कंडक्टर ऑफ हीट एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सेकेंड थिंग द मेटल्स आर मेलेबल एंड दे दे कैन बी फ्लैट एंड इन टू दीट्स वाइल इन केस ऑफ द नॉन मेटल्स दे आर नॉट मेलेबल एंड द लास्ट द मेटल्स आर डक्टाइल्स दैट कैन बी ड्रोन इन टू द वायर and non metals are not ductile so this is the characteristics of metals and non metals metals and second thing the metalloids they have both characters of metals and non metals for example silicon germanium arsenic etc here is the periodic table of the elements the elements are classified according to their electronic configuration in four blocks s p d and f block in a group as we go down in a group the metallic characteristics are increases as we move from left to right in periodic table the non metallic characteristics are increases here in case of the period lithium beryllium these are the metals and they have metallic characteristics as we move from left to right direction nitrogen oxygen फ्लोरिन न्यून दीज आर नॉन मेटल्स एंड दे हैव नॉन मेटलिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड देर स्टेट्स आर गैसी स्टेट्स सो दे हैव नॉन मेटलिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ओके सो दिस काइंड ऑफ ट्रेंड्स एज वी मूव फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट नॉन मेटलिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर इंक्रीजेज एज वी गो डाउन इन अ ग्रुप metallic characteristics are increases or the reactivity is increases how can we predict either they are reactive or non reactive less reactive more reactive or they are metalloids like silicon germanium arsenic antimony tellurium polonium astatine these all are sem semi metals or metalloids so this kind of trends the repetition of the properties after certain interval is called periodicity so in simple word in group as we move from top to bottom metallic characteristics are increases while in case of period 
when we move from left to right direction non metallic characteristics are increases and the periodicity in simple word the repetition of properties after regular interval now let's see the next topic that is periodic trends of properties periodic trends in properties of elements there are two trends in properties number one trends in physical properties and number two trends in chemical properties the physical properties like melting point boiling point heats of fusion heats of fusion it means amount of heat is required to convert solid to liquid amount of heat is required to convert solid to liquid state and vaporization or heat of vaporization as liquid releases the same amount of heat when they solidified that means liquid to solid so vaporization okay so in case of the liquid these the trends in physical properties like melting point boiling point heats of fusion vaporization or heats of vaporization and second thing the trends in chemical properties their oxidation states and second thing anomalous behavior or change in behavior of second period elements second period here lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon is the elements of the second period and within the period group sorry within a group 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 1 and group 2 they are collectively named as representative elements group 1 and group 2 as we move from top to bottom 
the reactivity of the elements is increases lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium their reactivity their metals and their reactivity are increases while in case of the group 17 their fluorine chlorine bromine iodine the reactivity is decreases as we move from top to bottom in 17th group their reactivity from chlorine fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine the reactivity is decreases so how can we explain this kind of properties so in period modern periodic tables to understand the different periodic trends as their chemical reactivity as increases their reactivity as are decreases that we need to study about atomic radius of the atom ionic radius ionization enthalpy electron gain enthalpy electro negativity so let's see about the atomic radius so here we we'll discuss from top to bottom in group the reactivity is increases for group one and in group seventeen it is halogen from chlorine fluorine chlorine bromine iodine their reactivity is decreases here for group 1 elements are lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium francium etc is the group elements of the group 1 and these are the elements of group 17 and for this periodic trends we need to study about atomic radius or atomic radii second ionic radii or radius ionization enthalpy electron gain enthalpy and electron negativity number one two three four and five these five points are very most important let's see about atomic radii or radius is the nucleus and is the cell is the first cell and it is second cell this nucleus so distance from the 
center distance from the center of the nucleus of the outermost outermost cell of electrons in this distance for cell 1 it is called atomic radius uh, here for cell 2 distance from nucleus to the outermost cell of the electron this distance is called atomic radius so the definition of atomic radius is distance from the center of nucleus of the outermost cell of electron in the atom of the elements of any elements is called its atomic radius but the size of the atoms are very small this round about 1.2 angstrom and it is very small 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 10 meter in radius so for this here the size of atom it is round about 1.2 angstrom or 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 10 meter in radius and second thing the electron cloud surrounding electron cloud surrounding the atoms they doesn't have any separate boundary they have not separate boundary either it, it is s p d f or its first cell second cell they doesn't have separate boundary so the determination of this atomic size cannot be precise and no practical way by which size of the and individual atoms can be measured so one practical ap approach to estimate the size of the atom of non metallic elements metallic elements and the noble gas for non metallic elements covalent radius for metallic elements yeah metallic radius and for novel gas or this in group 18 wonderful's radii or radius of 
other elements so in next part we will discuss about what is covalent radius metallic radius and van der waals radii or radius okay friends so next time we will discuss this part thank you very much